Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make essay questions inside Moodle. So as you can see here, I'm already in, uh, logged into Moodle and I'm inside my homepage for my little class that I use for these videos. And as you know, if you're using the default theme, if you look off to the right hand side, you will see uh, a little place under the administrative tab, administration tab called Question Bank. And you're going to click on that. And so, of course, these are questions we, we created in prior videos, and we're going to create a new question here. So we're going to click on the button called Create a New Question. And we're making an essay. And so you click right here on Essay, and this allows a response of a few sentences or paragraphs that must be graded manually. So essays allow the students to be very free and open about how they want to respond to a particular question or whatever it is you want to know about. Um, is a very, very practical, useful tool that can be used particularly efficiently in smaller classes. Very difficult to do essays in larger classes over 30 or 40 students, but you know, 20, maybe 25 is not so bad. So we click Add. And so, of course, you have the red stars mean you have to uh, provide information there. So the question name, you know, essay, example. We'll just call it that and we'll say in your opinion we're just going to make up a question here let me make this bigger for you in your opinion what is learning so that's our question um, and so then you got to put in the number of points as worth. so the default mark is one you can change it to, to whatever you want that's appropriate for your assessment General feedback is the feedback they get no matter how they do on the questions. So, you know, you could put, put something like, you know, you know, thanks for completing, great job on this part, you know, see you tomorrow, whatever you want to put there. Now, let's take a closer look at some more critical areas. You have a section here called response options. We've talked about this in a prior video for a different type of questioning. But for response format, HTM editor is the, is the default one and when the students are making their response they'll have options like these here you know different size fonts that they want bold uh, italics etc right right justified or right aligned left aligned etc they'll have those kind of features there uh, the next possible choice is HTML with file picker so that means not only will they have the same features as HTML editor but they can also upload files you know attachments plain text removes all of the different features here that are found here so they won't be able to bold and underline and do italics or you know center or any of that stuff like that anymore. Plain text with monospace font, that's very useful for the coders. Other than that, I don't want to talk about that too much. And no inline text means that they don't actually type into Moodle. Instead, they would have to upload their response as a file that you would read on your own time. You can also Require it, require text or not require it. So uh, it's up to you and your personal uh, approach to uh, marking. You can affect the size of the of the input box size. Now, the bigger the box, as the size of the box changes, the student's perception of what is an acceptable answer changes. A bigger box sent, often sends a message to students that they need to write more, while the smaller box often sends a message that they need to write less. And then, of course, allow attachment. You can yes or no that. You can even put a quantity or make it unlimited. And then require attachments, you know, if you want to do that. Now, for the response template, you can provide a template that the students add information to. Now, this is, now this is consistent, again, you know, with different ideas on um, Vygotsky and scaffolding. So if, you're, if your question is kind of complicated, you might want to provide a format in which the students just provide the information in the, in the different, un, un, under the different headings as an example. Um, again, this is an example of scaffolding, and, and again, Moodle is based on constructivism for those of you who are more familiar with like learning theories, etc. And also, you can provide information for the graders. You know, you might want to put in some comments on how to mark the assignments, what to look for, etc. This is assuming if you're not going to be the marker, uh, this is useful, you know, again, for much larger classes where you may have several teachers and several assistants or something. So we're mostly done with our concerns. So we're going to click Save Changes. And if we want to check to see how it's doing, here's our example, essay example. We just click on the magnifying glass. And here's our question, in your opinion, what is learning? Notice how we have all the fancy features here for um, 
the, the uh, HTML editor and we can type our response right here as appropriately. So there you have it. Essay questions are not very complicated. The hard part is when you get to the marking, but we will discuss that in a future video. In this video, we learned how to make an essay question and how to deal with the, the various options that are available in terms of the response format and also um, the different types of editors that the student has access to based on your preference. So we hope that this video was useful for you and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Take care.